Hi everybody, I've got a hard drive failure on my HP DV7. This is an Itachi drive, 500, 500 gig drive that I needed to replace. So uh, while I needed a new drive, I decided to upgrade my computer. The HP DV7 can hold two hard disks. So what I've decided is to install an SSD drive in the first bay and reinstall a 500 gig uh, mechanical drive in the second bay. So the first bay is holding all the operating system along with all the programs and the second drive is holding all the files which are videos, mp3s, uh, uh, work file, everything is stored into the second drive. Also the temporary file is stored on the second drive bay and all the emails are also stored in the second drive bay so it won't chew up all the the memory or the space inside the SSD drive. So now I'm going to show you how to open the drive compartment base and how to install a new drive into a HP DV7. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the battery and once that's done the first uh, part we need to open is the first area here which has four screws. Right, so once the screws are, are loosened up, you just need to pull the tab here and you can see that there are pins uh, inserted on the right side or the left side uh, of uh, when you work. So once that's done, you can now remove the second cover on the second drive B. Once everything is loosened up, you just need to pull and that's it. So on this one, the all the tabs are in the bottom. So be sure to pull from the top and not the bottom. Now to remove your hard disk, it's pretty simple because uh, the hard disk is only press fit into the bay area, into the holding area. So what you need to do is take a flat screwdriver and just insert on the side of the drive here and on the other side and once this is lift up you just pull gently and here you go you can remove your drive so no screws no nothing and by the way screws cannot uh, fall from the from the cover lid so no, no worry to lose the tiny screws so now I'm going to show you how to install the drive caddy. I've got my uh, second drive uh, caddy on eBay for $24. It came with the cable and also with the with the caddy. The caddy is really simple. It's two metal parts with a little uh, rubber boot and uh, a plastic insulator because usually when you have regular drives you have a printed circuit board um, so this is going to protect the circuit board from the hard drive and the only thing you need to do is to wrap this around and install the screws and that's it. And your caddy is installed as simple as this. Now you're ready to connect the cable. Alright, so uh, the cable that came with my uh, caddy is looking like this. This is a SATA uh, cable which will fit on 2.5 inch uh, hard drives. Uh, so here you have the power connector and this is the data connector. And also this is a tiny connector on the other side. This is the part that's going to connect on the motherboard. All right, so just before installing the hard drive, we need to insert the connector. So this is the part that's going to connect in that little connector right there. So you cannot install it the wrong way. There's only one way it's going to fit. What you need to do is to align it and just press on top of it. And that's it. It's already connected. So uh, once that is connected, now it's the, it's the connector on the hard drive side. 
So you only need to do a small, small loop like this and connect the hard drive. And that's it. Once the drive is connected, you simply push the two prongs in here. And now you can press down the other side and your new hard drive is installed. So now that your bulk drive are installed, you can now put the cover back on. So you need to do the opposite. So you start with the second B, insert the tab first. And you need to press. Once everything is snapped, then you can screw. Now the second part, same thing, insert the tab on the left. That's it. You can now install the battery and everything is installed.